everybody. It's, um, what is today? October 24th. Um, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm Happy turning... birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm one year older. I used to not be happy about that. Like in my 40s, I was like, eh. But, you know, then you come back around and you're 50 and you're like, ah, actually, I'm happy to be here for another year. So, because it's not a given, you know? Um, no, it's quite true. It's better than the alternative. Exactly, exactly. I am going to share this here. There we go. Yeah, you're here at the, uh, sorry, I should have said this. You're here at the weekly community call for chaos for anybody who's new or watching this and has not um, been to a chaos meeting before. So we're super happy to have you here. This is the meeting where we, we just kind of talk about all things chaos community. Um, we do like announcements and housekeeping and talk about stuff that pertains to the whole community. So that's where you are. If that's not where you thought you were, that's okay. You can stick around. That's <laughs> totally fine. Yeah. Or not. It's up to you. Yeah. You're an hour back. Um, as as all um, of our chaos meetings, just so everybody knows, it is under this chaos code of conduct. So make sure you read through that if you've not done that before, just so you know what's expected. Um, there shouldn't be any surprises in there. So um, yeah, just conduct yourself appropriately as you interact with us. And um, if you would like to keep your cameras off, that's totally fine. You can chat with us in the chat to the side, which I will open so I don't miss anything. I'll move it over here. Yeah. And I uh, just want a quick shout out to Matt Snell, who is Kentu Snell, Snell, sorry, who is on the call today, an old chaotic who has come back to us today. I don't know if, if Matt's going to stick around, but. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> Matt, Matt's one of the original chaotics. Mm -hmm. OG, right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Matt is also the reason we have badging. So you should, um, yeah, give a high five to Matt for that because without him, them, there would be no badging at all. So, yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so first and foremost, it's peculiar on here. Let me just see. Oh, I don't see her. Anyway, I'm going to give her a shout out because she facilitated this meeting for me last week when I was traveling, and I am so grateful. So thank you so much, peculiar, wherever you are. Maybe you'll come on the meeting later. Um, but yeah, I really, really appreciate that. So thank you for doing that. Um, yeah, next thing on our list is that this stuff Ugh. oh this, this messes me up every year it's so the, it's, the worst. it's literally the worst it's can't the world worst. agree on what time it is like <laughs> no. everybody's <but> yeah <laughs> we can't even agree on that so yeah twice a year we have this issue where daylight savings time comes around some folks do it earlier than others and some folks do it don't do it at all so the cat the chaos calendar is kind of chaotic if you will for a couple of weeks, or for, I guess for really just that week in between. Um, so I just wanted to make everybody aware of that, that that is coming up next week. And just keep an eye on the calendar. Because if you've, if you've copied it to your personal calendar, it may not, it won't actually update. So you actually have to subscribe to the Chaos Calendar if you want to keep up with those updates. So if you've copied anything to your stuff, just maybe double check that things have, have or haven't changed. They probably have. I did yeah, want to ask. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Sean. Sorry. I, I was just going to say, I've certainly run afoul of copying meetings and then when they change, not, you know, coming at the wrong time or not coming. So, yeah, yeah. It does, done, it, does, done it myself. <laughs> yeah, I have too. It just doesn't reflect. Um, I wish there was a better way for us to manage this because I know people don't want to subscribe to the entire calendar sometimes. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe it's... we'll just have that. Yeah, Katie, go ahead. Oh, it stays in central time though, right? It does. It, yes. Okay. Well, it depends on how your Google Calendar is set up, though, it doesn't it? Because, like, if when I switch to Europe time zones and I'm traveling, it'll show me the European times for meeting. Good but point. I mean, the Chaos Calendar is like crazy. Oh yeah. Central time zone. Yes, yeah. that is that is correct. Sorry, I didn't listen very well. Sorry about that. Oh no, you're good. Um, I I did want to bring this up though, um, because the Chaos Africa meetings. Um, 
like it would be so much easier for us to change the calendar than to make all of those folks change the time that they come to the meeting so i wanted to propose that we tie this the chaos africa meetings to west africa time and see what the group thinks about that i i think that makes a lot of sense and the fact that the auger meetings collide is a non-issue because I need I talk I talked with Matt about I think I think it was you Matt and Don and I were talking and I need to get some of the auger contributors here at Missouri into those meetings and so I need to move the time because this semester collides with classes they have um okay. at the time that I chose so I'll I'll that we're not due for that for another week so between now and then yeah let me uh between now and then I will move the time okay. So that isn't a problem. That way, um, I appreciate that, Sean, because that way, all of our Chaos Africa folks, it will still be the same for them. It will not change. Yeah. For them. And yeah. I think that's just easier. Would, would you all agree, the folks who are from Chaos Africa? Like it would be better. Yeah, I, I see think some thumbs up. As long as, as, long as it doesn't uh, collide with uh, Chaos Zoom link. I think we're I think we're okay. I looked uh, yesterday, and I think this was the only meeting that looked like it might collide. So we can just change this meeting um, for what Sean was saying. All right, Sean, will reschedule this meeting. Okay. So let's just give this like a I don't know a green check mark something that says that we did kind of decided to do that. That way it doesn't, it should not change for anyone in Chaos Africa. We'll just make the change. I'll make the change on the Chaos calendar to reflect the new time for for like the US, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay. Does anybody have questions about this nonsense here, the daylight savings time stuff? <laughs> Wait, I mean, I think it's something. It's something we just survive every year. I actually I actually think it's worse. It's worse for Dawn than anybody else because the UK, I think, doesn't do daylight savings time. Or, oh, it, they do, but they do it earlier. Yeah, they yeah, there's like they're even different than Europe, I think. Oh, are they? Oh. Maybe, okay. maybe not. I don't know. It just Yeah. It's a mess. I know yeah, it's a mess. That 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 one week where Europe and the US are off by another hour is always confusing yeah and, and so many countries don't observe at all which is seems like yeah. the smart thing to do just like leave the calendar alone leave it alone hmm. don't mess yeah. with it turns out we're not primarily an agrarian economy anymore so we don't need this <laughs> so dumb hmm. uh, and my dogs hate it too of, above all things yeah. because they don't know what time it is they think it's time to eat and it's not and yeah, yeah. It's time to dogs wake up happy it's not good dogs for happy. No one's happy. <laughs> That's right. Literally. Yeah, it really is. Okay. Well, if people do have questions um, about any, I, I will just say, if you are in a country that does not observe daylight savings, then the rest of the chaos calendar will change for you. So just, yeah, just make, make sure you're keeping up with it. If you want, if you want to be attending other meetings, <laughs> including this one right here. So yeah, I'm so sorry, but this will happen on November 5th too. So we have a couple of weeks. It's not happening right away, but just keep, I'll, I'll mention it next week as well. It's pretty close. Like, isn't October 29th this coming Sunday? Yeah. So, so next week, Europe will be off by another hour. Yes. And then, then the U.S. catches up a week later. So next week is our week of weirdness. Things most weird highest weirdness factor until spring <laughs> right and then we do it all over again except for the yeah well. <laughs> oh man for those community managers out there they yes this is the worst the time zones are literally the worst okay anyway uh moving on so um last week matt g and i were at all things open in north carolina it was an amazing conference um we had a great time we, there were some chaotic there um christine abernathy from the ospo working group and gary white were there as well um who else was there i'm missing someone ildico was there ildico is not here today on the call but ildico was also there and we sadly didn't get a group picture because 
We didn't. I'm sad. I think it takes Georg to really <laughs> to really get everybody together for those. Yeah. For the, man, so um, yeah, we Georg did have, is... yeah, he's good at that. We did have 151 people enter our raffle for this globe here, this Lego globe that we gave away, which is a lot, I think. So um, that means Matt and I talked to many more people than that because not everybody wanted to enter. So yeah, we talked to a lot of people about chaos and- That's uh, awesome. Yeah, it was fantastic. A lot of people had heard of chaos, maybe didn't understand completely what we do. So we tried to give them like the 30 second elevator pitch. Um, and it was, it was really, really great. So we may see some new faces around from that. Um, if we do, please say hello and welcome them as we always do to our community. Um, yeah, it's a great conference too, because it has a lot of, it's, it's a wide variety of folks. So it's students who are brand new to open source all the way up to like Nithya Ruff, who heads Amazon's open source program office. So everyone in between, <laughs> it's, it's everybody there. So it's, it's a really good, a really good conference. Um, yeah. I uh, just wanted to say congratulations to this gentleman, Jared, who won our globe. And curiously, so out of 151 people, he was chosen. And then the, the conference itself has some kind of gamification thing where if you went around to vendors and talked to them, they gave you like the secret code that you entered in something. I don't know. And then you got points oh. for it. I don't even know. But um, at the Is end of the more transport Was this a more transportable Lego set than the one we did at uh, in Portland? No, it's the same one. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool. I wanted somebody to have you win, but you got to get it home. Yeah. No, he was a local, thankfully. He was a local yeah. <laughs> in North Carolina, so he didn't have to travel far. Um, but this conference gave away, uh, we're giving away like big prizes at the end. So basically, like a gift card to Apple for a new laptop, that kind of a prize, um, several of them. And um, so out of the, they took the top 50 people from that gamification thing of points, and Jared won one of those as well. So this guy, I want to be friends with him because clearly he's, he's got some good karma coming his way. He's done. He's doing something right, either in this life or maybe in a past one. I don't know, but yeah. I hope he's buying lottery tickets left and right because this this guy is a lucky guy. So yeah, congratulations to him. Um, we haven't. I haven't really looked. I probably should have before this meeting. I'm sorry. I looked to see what people said in the in our little questionnaire that we do. I don't know how accurate those results because I feel like some people were just kind of blowing through the the little form yeah. that we fill out, which is totally fine. We did shorten it a little so people didn't have to type on their phone. So I don't know. We'll look at them and see if there's anything that we can really glean from those results. But yeah, it's mostly just for fun, I think. Yeah. And it did bring people to the booth. It does. It definitely does bring people in when they see that Lego globe. So, so it was a good conference. I'm sure we'll probably do that again as well. Anybody have any questions about that? I do not. I will also just give myself a shout out because um, one of the social events, the close, they had a closing social event at um, a bar that had a lot of arcade games and pinball machines. And I did get my name, my initials are on one of those pinball machines in Raleigh, North Carolina. So my, the legacy of chaos will live on forever, or at least until somebody gets a higher score than I do. So, yay, I'm doing my best, yeah. spreading the word. You keep <laughs> on spreading the word. You do a great job of that. Thank you. If I if I do nothing else in my life, I, I leave that legacy in Raleigh. Well, we need that. Some, <laughs> some bar. That's important. Yeah, it is important. Yes. It is. My kids will be proud. I think I might put it on my resume. I don't know. I would. <laughs> Okay, anyway, moving on to important things. Um, Angola Open Source, uh, we partnered with them to um, do a hackathon. And there were a lot of um, contributions to our Slack bot, Slack bot wiki, um, translated into Portuguese, and it's also being worked on into French as well. I wondered if there's, is there anyone who had participated in that on the call today that wants to say a little bit about that? Because it was an amazing event. There are some photos floating around in Slack. But I don't see anybody here that was maybe at that event. I must have say anything. I, I was not, of course. That's OK. Um, I will just say check out Slack for some cool updates and photos. 
was it looked like a really fantastic event. So you also may see some new faces um, from that event as well. So of course, you know, make sure we are welcoming everybody that we can into the community because that's awesome. And translations are just as an aside, translations are a great way to contribute to any open source project. I will just say that flat out, hands down, across the board. Mm -hmm. They're a great way to, to contribute. You, you can be a newcomer. Like you don't have to have, you know, deep knowledge of the project to be able to translate. You just have to know another language. So that would be super helpful. Um, the next one on here, uh, again, is from Chaos Africa. I'm wondering if anybody wants to speak to some of the Hacktoberfest posts that they've been doing. They've really been doing a great job just getting people involved through Hacktoberfest. And again, you can you can kind of look at Slack to see some of those posts in the Chaos Africa channel. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to speak to that, how that's going. Yeah, I would love to hear yeah, about um, that. Ooh, yes. I, I'm having a lot of background noise. I don't know whether it's comfortable with everyone. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, uh, I think the posts do not really represent. Um, I think it's mostly about engaging communities and what they're up to in the October 1st. But as far as contributions directly to Chaos or Chaos Africa or even budging projects is concerned, um, there hasn't been any. We put out some issues before October and also tagged them to Hacktoberfest, hoping people would browse through and find some things to work on. But so far, I've not had any pull request or any contribution directly to Chaos. So most of those posts that are happening on Twitter are mostly about engagement and also like boosting the October first contributions, but not directly to chaos. I think that's fair, and I think that's that's still helpful. Thank you, Enoch, um, and especially for for taking the time to to create some issues. Um, that I know that takes a little bit of work, and then you know it would be great if we did get some PRs, but that will I think maybe in the future. You know they're still there, right? Yeah, 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 sure, they're there. And um, I think um, we, before the month started, we made sure that all pull requests and issues that are open are all valid. So there is no stale pull, there is no stale issue, there is no unattended to pull request. Everything that is on all repositories is updated at the moment. Yeah. Amazing. So yeah, that, that work will pay off um, eventually. Now, Hacktoberfest, I think, has gone through a little bit of changes, too. So yeah, kind of in, in flux, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's OK. I, Thank you, Enoch. Yeah, no, thanks, Enoch. Um, anybody have questions, comments, anything about either of these two Chaos Africa updates? I have nothing else. OK. All right. Well, let's go on. Yiga is on the phone. Yiga, do you want to talk about this um, form and our onboarding courses? You don't have to. I don't want to put you on the spot. Peculiar is also on this call. Yay, Peculiar. I gave you a shout out at the beginning because you're awesome. So thank you. And <laughs> Sorry for to facilitating, jump back facilitating last week specifically. Yes. You guys, I don't know if you're able to unmute. Oh, did, did we lose? I think we lost you guys, actually. We did. OK, that's OK. Um, I, I can speak to this, too. Uh, we have started kind of building this stuff out. Peculiar, do you want to speak to this? You don't have to if you don't want to. OK, sure. I don't know if you just want to kind of go through it for folks. OK, sure. Can you hear me? Yep, you're good. OK, uh, hi, everyone. OK, what we've I've 
Okay, according to after our meeting, we're able to uh, assign this tax. Uh, we worked on this sheet. And what I did here was to, okay, um, these are the ideas we have for both um, kiosks, uh, document. The, the whole idea is for us to be able to have a recording for For a record, Bridge have a recorded courses for to onboard new uh, members or, or new commerce or those, both for those in new to open source and those new to care. So these are um, the topics we need are to have content on that. A lot of them here, the ideas about some of them are just direct for kiosk strategic kiosk for newcomers then we also have those for just open source because we're not just taking only for uh kiosks uh some of them have introduction to open source and github and uh, introduction to kiosk matrix on all of them so these are uh, we're going to create issues for all these after but we're going to use the form that Q, uh, you guys working on to um, get the data for those that will be able and willing to record these uh, sessions for us. It's just going to be something straightforward, simple, and something inviting that will help someone that just joining. It doesn't need to, uh, the person doesn't need to go through all the readings, just uh, have like, a, a, uh, the guide will just be to that video the person wants to understand exactly what's going on on it in, in kiosk community, in the projects and about open source in general. So moving forward, what we'll be looking for are those that will be willing to help us do this. So we need those that will be able to do, uh, be able to do the video and then we also need to, uh, editors that will help us edit the video. And then we also we need, uh, uh, we need, um uh in the video we would need like someone uh, like a kind of clear direction of what one needs to do so that's what this is it's all about just the onboarding courses these are the about uh, i kind of have the exact number now but then as time goes on we're going to add more to them so if you'll be willing especially if you are like a technical lead in any project at all, we're going to uh, need this video from your end. And if you look at that, we're not, we've not added maybe a topic, you feel like, okay, this topic should be part of this onboarding course, please also feel free to uh, uh, suggest that to us, we'll add it up where, so we can get a lot, in fact, we can get everything covered up in the whole video. So. We I, also need I have a script for it. Yeah, go ahead, please. I, one question I have, you know, is I think, okay, well, there's certainly a bunch of stuff I should have folks do for Augur. And I'm wondering if we have like a, maybe like a, we should have a template for like the first thing you see on any videos is like, this is the chaos course, like some kind of template so that we don't all create courses that look entirely different. Like, I don't think we have to strictly enforce exactly the same but i i mean i just like some branding stuff so that like okay. at least the start of the course looks consistent even if it's just that first screen you see okay awesome that's that's a great idea we just ha we need to add that to template yeah because so like if i if i go start creating stuff i can do the videos and you can always add stuff at the beginning so it's not that big of a deal but yeah that's just an idea I had. No, that's that's a good one. We're going to also have add that it will create a template for for the video, so it will be easier for everyone and follow the same um, I said the same pattern and the rest of them. And the editors will help us, like because we might need to add some uh, kind of a maybe um, a pop up at the end to give some instruction and the rest of them maybe at the end or at the beginning. So we're going to put that together and also add it 
up so that everybody knows. Yeah. Okay. Great idea, Sean. Yeah, yeah. Well, we went from Matt doing the one course to now we've actually got a plan to do a bunch of courses, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think these are gonna be a little um, more digestible because I think they're gonna be yeah. smaller. So like, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes max, like not a lot, Yeah. but there will be more of them and then people can kind of pick and choose. Um, Yiga and I did finalize this form so I dropped it in the chat, but if anybody is interested in helping out with this as we get this kind of rolling and get the issues built out, um, we would love that. So here's the form. It's also in the in the um, agenda here as well. And we would absolutely love newcomers to help us uh, make sure that the stuff we're putting together is understandable and helpful. Um, and like Peculiar said, if there's any topics that you think um, that might be great to add to this as a newcomer, then yes, by all means, let us know. Because newcomers are the best at being newcomers. <laughs> They're the <laughs> subject matter, matter expert at being newcomers. Yeah. So we really want them, yeah. Uh, is is there a, or if you, how do we record videos or is there a preferred way, I guess? Um, like I, I could use Zoom. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten that far. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, I think that's a good, uh, good question. <laughs> if, if people haven't done it before, they like Zoom is one way to do it. There are some other things out there. Maybe we keep a list for people. I don't think we have to all use the same tool, but if someone's not done it before, they might not even know where to start there. Yeah, I think that's why we're kind of hoping to, if we get a feel for like what kind of experience people have had, which... We ask them down here if you have experience with or access to tools. Um, yeah, I think that yeah. once we kind of get a feel for who's in, who's interested and like what they have access to and what their experience is, I think we might be able to answer that a little easier. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. That's a great question, though. And I put that in here so we can okay. just like, be mindful of like, oh yeah, we got to figure that out. Oh, okay. For for the form, I'm thinking we. We also need to add people to uh, maybe list the topics we have and let allow people to get interest on a desert course they might want to uh, make video on. Oh, that's a great question. Let's put that on the form. That's a great, great idea. Yeah. So uh, I will do that. So yeah, nobody filled that form out yet. Because <laughs> we're going to go yeah. change it. <laughs> yeah. so disregard. <laughs> or just give us like a day or two to change it. <laughs> I filled it out right before the meeting, but I can fill it out again. <laughs> That's OK. We, we will probably make you do that, Sean. Yeah. Actually, we will just assign you, Sean. You get to do auger. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you get yeah. to do. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> You're allowed to do other things too. I will say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we Thank will. You, everyone, uh, just you know, with the form, I'm going to when I create the issue on GitHub, I'm going to assign to the person straight. I'm also thinking which they should add their GitHub uh username so i don't need to yes. i would just assign to them straight once i create the issue for everyone that's integrated interest on a particular topic so smart oh my goodness okay perfect I wonder if we can do that right now. Ah, that's all right. We won't take time at the meeting to do it, but yes, I will do it as soon as possible. So hold on that form, everybody, because now we have two changes to make. <laughs> so we, we peculiarly we probably should let, let you look at this first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. Yeah. Okay. What's that, Sean? I said, you know, we, we all 
how else are we going to learn? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, perfect. And, you know, again, if anybody thinks of something else we should be asking, just reach out to me, just um, hit me up on Slack, and then um, I'll be happy to add whatever to the form. And anybody who has filled it out already, then we'll just probably go back and ask you to give us that extra information. No worries, no big deal at all. Any sure. other questions or comments about our onboarding courses? I should also add this here. We've, we've put it in here before, but I'll put it in here again. This is the Slack channel. We're just hashtag education. That's where we're having all these conversations. And so if you just generally want to kind of keep an eye on things, you don't want to necessarily commit to anything or sign yourself up for anything, you're welcome to just join the conversation or listen in and Slack. And that's where you can do that. Excellent. Any other final things before we go on? Okay. I, I have, I guess the only thing I would add that um, I think due to some confusion with the meeting notice and the topic of the auger meeting, the first time we had it, um, we had less participation this last time. So I'm going to start providing um, agendas uh, and, and keep the content less, less technical um, going forward, try to build some community around lots of different types of contributions that people can make. Um, so reignite some interest after what was perhaps a dry technical blabbering which i think some people appreciated but didn't and then of course the confusion that i created by not having the meeting link in there so that meeting will be again next week and i'll notify of the new time once i figure it out okay you you are gonna have it next week yeah it'll just be at a different time it, it won't conflict with the other things so i'll move it so you're kind of doing like a little bit of a reboot? Um, really just a re uh, it's yeah, I guess a little bit of a reboot just to be more specific about what we'll talk about and build a community as opposed to having it be a lot of technical discussion. Um, and then the the reboot part of it also includes like finding a time where I can have more auger maintainers there than the, the time I identified on the chaos calendar initially. Um, I will also say, Sean, we do have some community managers in the in the chaos community that are kind of looking for community manager ish things to do. So if oh. there are specific things or um, ways that they can help, then they it, like we should make sure they know about that meeting also. Yeah, um, where would I uh, look? Is there like a community managers channel that I would talk to or there, there isn't, but maybe we should create one because I, I know there are now numerous several of us floating around chaos um so or or, or if there's a, another logical place i could just like i put it in general for now it's up to you i will let you be the okay. decider uh, i'll just put it here because i tell you what like having that project managers channel has been super helpful even though we're talking yeah. about a whole lot hmm. of projects having them all in one place has been really really helpful so maybe okay. we do a community. Yeah. But I will put a I will put a first message in there when I see it pop up. Okay. I will do that today and I will invite you to that Thank channel you. as well. We were just talking about this in the newcomer hangout a little bit earlier today about the community management and that's um, a little bit like there isn't a direct path for contribution for those aside yeah. from just generally welcoming and, and helping you know folks find their way as as you can but or maybe joining tour guides but there really isn't a good but we can absolutely use those kind of skills so um yeah i will create that cool thank you all right let's go ahead and move on we have about 10 minutes left so um we do have a page for chaoscon eu up for those who are looking for that, I think Sophia uh, Vargas was looking for that earlier. I don't see her on the call. Um, so this is I think up. she's at member summit. Oh right, right, right. We said that yeah. we don't have registration yet. Um, we got to. I got to sort something out with Eventbrite and Georg before I uh, can can enable that. But as soon as that registration is open, we will definitely let the community know. 
and I know we are gonna, some of us will be there. I don't think we're gonna have a table per se as they don't really do that at FOSDEM, I don't think. Um, but we will have the, the chaos con before FOSDEM, as it says here, it's, we're gonna do that right before FOSDEM. So, so we'll be around and we're gonna be, uh, we are working on the schedule now as well. So that will be posted, yeah, as soon as, like all this is, is coming soon. So yeah. we'll be filling those in as we go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Any questions about Chaos Con or any of that? Boston, any of that? No, I'm I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, 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 Belgium doesn't have a terror alert. Or you don't <laughs> break a bone <laughs> when you're mm. over there, or have some. Uh, I, it's Frankfurt's a weird city. It's like so many people riding scooters on the sidewalks in these large crowds and i just you should just take the hit instead of jump out of the way i think is the moral of the story ah uh, that's what happened then i didn't i don't yeah. think I, I caught that piece so yeah oh sean yeah that yeah. really sucks yeah i should have shoulder checked him <laughs> yeah right <laughs> stood your ground <laughs> yeah oh man i don't know that might have been worse uh it might have been yeah it could be like internal yeah anyway yeah uh, it's all good now okay i did want to let the community know um we did publish some metrics models there's yay, also gary yay gary who's not on this call today um yeah yay gary if you see gary give him high fives he was also at all things open i forgot yeah it was great to see him in person as well um, but we have these four new metric models and they all kind of tie together around viability. So um, yeah, if you haven't seen these, just maybe take a look, um, just something to uh, look at and make yourself uh, aware of, just in case that's of interest to you. There is one more metric that I have to publish um, from Anita, which I will mention next week because I have not had a chance to publish that yet. So that's in my queue to do. So next week we'll have a new metric as well but yeah so take a look at those if you want in your free time some light yeah. reading for you <laughs> very light reading any questions about this i i think i get it all right nobody else has questions cool I mean, my, for me, it just becomes a, a to-do list for the Augur API. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so if you're <laughs> interested in helping out connect Augur with these new metric models and some of the metrics that are out there, then you can come yeah. to the community meetings and help yeah. us figure that out. Okay, I think we do have about seven minutes left, so I will bring this up. Um, I had opened this issue here because as I was just looking through the website, um the other day uh doing a few things i just kind of noticed that our the way we represent our community isn't necessarily accurate um so like our chapters for chaos africa chaos asia pacific and then future chapters are kind of buried a little bit like it's mm -hmm. under um you have to like to find out information about them you have to go here to the, the knowledge, knowledge base yeah that seemed yeah all right okay, and then i it's see like, that yeah Kind of well is it gonna let me go there maybe there we go and then it's like kind of down in here under i think it's in chaos groups local chapter so it's very buried for one which yeah could be better we could surface this a little bit more i think and then you know just like our pictures and we don't really mention it in our about page like we just have that one picture. It's not really, you know, I don't know. I would just like to see us represented a little bit more globally because yeah. we are a global community. And so I thought maybe we could add some more pictures or maybe even a map, a world map of the countries where our contributors come from. Yeah. I think that would be kind of cool to see like where we're represented. So yeah. I don't know. There's lots of other things we yeah go ahead sean sorry i keep interrupting you. yeah no I, no no not at all i i think i'm interrupting you I, i'm i'm just thinking that it would almost be good to have the like the 
chaos is a sort of an umbrella organization and there are many regionally active chaotic groups and um there is sort of the the role of the global group which is defining some things but there's just so much really outstanding activity happening in the regional chaos groups that i agree that we should make that more visible to people um and then that comes to the question i know you and i and don have discussed about how do we edit the wordpress page there's like a really weird there's some weird editor stuff in there right now as i'm sure you know yeah yes <laughs> yes there are <laughs> um, some of the pages are like half in wordpress half hmm. in GitHub. so yeah yeah um, i think that's actually i'm glad peculiar is on this call maybe that's something we should add to is just kind of documenting the website a little more so that if we do have folks that want to contribute to help make those changes that everybody's clear on where where to do that because it's yeah. not it's not easy right now to know like if i wanted to change this uh wait where is it no here if i wanted to change this page like where do i even go where do i even go to make suggestions to change it mm -hmm. i think half of this is again in wordpress and half of it is in github so, some so, other format yeah mm -hmm. i know when don and i were I was we're sitting with Don trying to figure out how to make a post about the software survey she did. And we were both afraid to touch the page because we were afraid we were going to break it. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Like we know yeah. we fix that so that people do feel empowered to also do, you know, contribute to the website and like know where to go to do stuff. Um, is, 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 is that is Kevin the person that we could maybe beg for a little bit of an orientation on stuff we don't understand? Too, or uh, do you kind of know all that already, Elizabeth? Kevin knows more than I do. I know yeah. uh, enough <laughs> to get by. So, but Kevin's also pretty busy. So, um, yeah, no, it might be, I... yeah. And, and you know, again, maybe Peculiar and I can work together to document stuff so that anybody can read it and know, like, okay, here's this page. Here's where these blocks are. Here's how to change it. And then it would just be a matter of adding folks uh, as editors. I think yeah, so. like I think a good place to start would be if you if you kind of looked at what's under software because I know Dawn's got some content she wants to put there. He does, and I yeah. have. There's a PR, so right now this page is blank. Oh, there's a, uh, a PR okay. that I just right. sent to Dawn yesterday okay. to change that. So, okay, so I'm 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 talking about stuff you already know. No, but, Ignore but me. no, it's it's you're totally <laughs> right. And as a matter of fact, this is a perfect example. <clears throat> so like this part right here. You change in WordPress straight up in WordPress. The rest of okay. the content of the page, you make a change in GitHub, and it reflects back to this website. Okay. So, yeah, it's yeah, <laughs> it's not easy to know where to. And, and, and I and I know experience. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead, Vinod. Yeah. But Vinod, you're busy too. Share my experience so. on this because I've worked extensively on knowledge base. So, uh, the key thing is like whatever content you see on the white space especially on the white, is coming from the uh, GitHub. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. And, you know, even as I was doing this today, so yeah. like this part up here is in WordPress. WordPress. This in GitHub. These are all, oh. this is GitHub, this is GitHub. This is not in GitHub. Oh, this man. is not in GitHub. But these things are, like, it's, yeah. <laughs> so so the yeah. best the best way to understand this is like yes documentation will be a good idea to help anyone like how, how to go about it but the how i figured it out because i did not had any access to the wordpress but uh, since i'm very long with the community but uh, how i figured it out i went to the github i was looking for a particular page and exactly mapping the same on the folder or pages on the github and i was able to track them easily Okay. And Maybe you could our, document that for us. <laughs> yeah. I think in our metrics pages, we started linking to, I think we did this. We started uh, linking to the page. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. even the organization is a folder on the GitHub. Uh, and then within that, this page is in the GitHub. Yes. Yeah. So we did start linking it to edit or to offer PRs. So, um, not that we need to do that on all of our events pages, like all the other pages, but just to know where this mm -hmm. is, is helpful. Yeah, that's really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the I like the permanent references. I can't I can't say enough positive things about that. Oh yeah, but on the metrics, it, yeah. 
it, it enables the Augur API project because now now it actually we had we had mapped it to like four different iterations and we finally gave up. Yeah, because they sure. kept changing. <laughs> for sure. Um, so anyway, back to this original thing about making our website a little more representative of our global stuff. If you have ideas or you want to work on this, here's where you can do it. You can also um, connect with Peculiar, who can assign stuff to you. And yeah, she's one of the project managers for the website. So yeah. And look at that. We're perfectly on time. I will stop sharing. Thanks everybody for such a good meeting. Yay. I feel like we accomplished yeah. a lot, even though I don't know yeah. if we did. It feels like we, we did. did. We yeah. did. And um, thank you to everyone. I just want to, I think Rakib, when my student Rakib uh, from Missouri is here, he's yeah. been joining periodically, but he's going to be joining us more frequently now. Uh, Rakib's doing his PhDs in his sec second year. Um, almost done with his second year, actually, because he started in December. So um working on papers he's going to be a little bit more involved here going forward so good rakeep that's awesome it's really good to see you again here thank you and, very much and we we will help celebrate your accomplishment when it's all said and done we will yes we will give you a long tradition <laughs> which topic is he working on sean uh he's not there yet <laughs> okay um, like his dissertation isn't set yet i should say so that's something we'll probably be talking about a lot in the next six months. He's, I would say he's just exploring and seeing where he wants to go. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know, Rakeem, Vinod is a PhD graduate from Nebraska Omaha, which is the collaborator with Matt and I. And uh, he's at Florida Gulf Coast, Flor University. Gulf Coast University now as a professor. So, and that's great. Yeah. And then Armstrong is a PhD student in Quebec, right, Armstrong? No, I finished long ago. A long ago. Okay, he's a professor now. <laughs> I'm just way behind the times. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. Some of us Sorry. are not PhD students, just so everybody knows. That's like, the, you know, the smart a ones. To be in the no, 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 yeah, no, no, <laughs> not one bit. In fact, it's a disadvantage that we overcome every day. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Were... Have a good rest of your day, everybody. I will uh, end the meeting. So take care. Bye. We'll see you here next week. See you next Bye. week. See you.